To me, the school is alive. It's uh, not a bunch of kids sitting in a classroom having knowledge stuffed down their throat uh, by a teacher who's standing at the front of the classroom. These children are involved in their learning. They're engaged. They're um, working together as in, in teams collaboratively, solving problems and creating incredible work material that's in the hallway. The, um, you know, the, the different displays that are there are reflective of the learning that they're accomplishing and, um, and it's, it's rewarding to see what they are able to accomplish and it's, it's very impressive. I think for any parent, uh, when you have uh, educators introducing perhaps a totally new concept, um, you know, this takes a bit of a leap of faith. Uh, first question I ask is, how was it introduced to you as a parent that there was going to be an inquiry-based method introduced throughout the school? Uh, well, it first came up, uh, our school was dealing with declining enrollment, and we were worried that at some point our school would be closed because we didn't have enough students. So it was um, similar to another school in the city that it was actually the elementary school that I attended that came up with, um, became a fine arts school. So they taught music, arts, drama, and dance. And that school had probably 100 students when I left, and now it's bursting at the seams. They're continually adding on to it. So that was our focus. Our goal was to draw more children to St. Anne's School. And I'm not sure who it was that threw out the idea of inquiry-based learning, but we thought, really, what do we have to lose? Let's give it a try. And the teachers, um, the principal provided quite a bit of information to the community council about what this program would entail. They made a road trip to Calgary and invited us to come. None of the parents um, went that I was aware of, but they came back with a lot of material and pictures and video. and really did a good job of selling it to us and I don't think that they really had to sell very hard. Um, you know as parents we all went through school and sat in desks in rows and, and uh, it was the same experience for all of us and I think everyone wants a different experience for their children. We want to see some improvement and you know the workplace changes and so why isn't the school changing too to better prepare our children for their jobs that are coming ahead of them. You make it sound that it was a seamless process, and yet I, I, uh, I think in any school you're going to have per perhaps a certain um, uh, mentality among parents that they, they don't necessarily want to see change because they think that school should be the same as it was for them. So were there any uh, concerns that you had to work through with other parents about how this was going to be implemented, or what, was there any opposition? And, and if so, how did you uh, overcome that as a, as a parent leader? To my knowledge, we didn't have a lot of opposition. I think people were open to um, the concepts. And like I said previously, we, there was a lot of education. And it was a gradual process. It wasn't like they were just thrown into this um, new way of learning. It was a, a gradual um, start. And I think that the parents who are in the school a lot, mostly the more the primary grades, could see the work product in the hallway and see what was coming of it. And their children were coming home and saying, and sharing with them what they'd done in, at school that day. Instead of, you know, you ask, how was school today? Boring, what did you do? Nothing. You know, they actually had stories to tell. And I think that was a big selling point for the, the parents as well. Um, I know that there were, was at least one family that left the school. I don't know if that was because of inquiry-based learning or if it was some other um, issue, but um, I wasn't aware of any huge um, opposition to this program. I think because it was um, stressed that the students would still be learning the curriculum it was just a different method of presenting it. And once you see how engaged your children are and how they're looking forward to going to school, I can't see how anyone could be, could take that as a negative. The question I have for you is from a personal level, you have uh, one or more children in the school right now? I have one. You have one child. And, and, and uh, what grade? Grade four. 
Can you, um, okay, so this is the second year. Can you give me some examples of, you know, you had said that, you know, when you ask uh, your child, uh, you know, what they did in school today, can you give me uh, maybe a story that comes to mind of, of uh, a day at school and, and uh, where your child was excited or one or two examples of what you've heard that really got you thinking while we're on the right track? Um, well, my child is a very quiet child who... Um, doesn't really like to talk unless he has to and so um, I don't necessarily hear a lot of stories from him but I hear a lot of stories from his teachers and the support staff who tell me that um, he's gone from a child who won't talk to anyone to someone who when we have visitors at the school he will tell them all about what he's learning and that's incredible um, in fact, the principal's wife was one of the, um, another, there was a group of teachers that came to talk to the kids in the school and, and uh, she commented to, him, commented to him, that boy learned. From whatever their discussion was about, um, it was obvious that he had absorbed material that he wouldn't have otherwise absorbed. And I was just impressed that he was able to sit down and have a conversation with someone who was a complete stranger to him. And that's something that months of of visits with a psychologist couldn't do for him, but inquiry-based learning did because he is exposed to so many people in the classroom. He's in the classroom where he's comfortable and these people come in and it's so much easier for him to interact with them and, and be comfortable and he gains confidence. And the progression that he's made over the last two years with inquiry-based learning has been phenomenal. What would you say to other parents or a parent group that maybe might be considering to do a similar change in their school, for lack of a better term, they, they have a, a regular school, if you will. Um, what, what would you tell them, you know, if they were even skeptical minds or there was concern about this big change? What piece of advice would you give to other parents in this particular case? I would say, um, you know, look at some of the schools that are doing it. Keep an open mind and consider what's best for your child. Just because you were taught one way doesn't mean that it's the best way to teach your child, that your child should be taught now. Um, you know, the job that I do, and I've been doing my job for 25 years, is quite a bit different than it was 25 years ago when I started. And the workplace is different than it was even five years ago. And we need to adapt our educational processes so that our children are prepared for what they're going to do in their future.